Welcome back to the channel and the ring. As you can tell, we're on Hirschfelden. We're going to be going after some goose today, practicing for the new waterfowl rework at Reventuli Coast, since it's mainly a waterfowl map. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try and get a diamond or a rare. Hopefully a rare, because I've yet to get one. And with the rain stopping, without further ado, let's jump right in. Like I said, with Revan Tuli Coast coming, I wanted to practice with this. So from what I've seen from the live streams and clips of that, we're going to be wanting to use a lot of shotguns on these new waterfowl and the, the rework because they move a lot different. They're a lot faster and the 22LR is just not fast enough. We might be able to use the 22H, but we're going to have to wait to see on that. So for our loadout, we have the 12 gauge Gamekeeper over under. Just a beautiful, beautiful shotgun that I love to use. Next to that, we have the Norden 20 gauge and camouflage, because obviously, if you're hunting some waterfowl, you gotta have a camo weapon. And then follow that up, we have the 10 gauge Sheriff. That's the lever action shotgun. It's just really powerful, can hit a little bit harder at distance. So I wanted to bring that one out. And then to clean up anything, if it does get away, we are gonna be using the 22 LR. The reason I'm bringing this out is just to show that right now it really works for the waterfowl and geese but after the rework we're gonna have to do some comparing and see if it still works on the waterfowl as well as it does now i'm leaning to it's not gonna work so well sounds like we got our first flock coming in of the day let's see if we have anything special in it two threes up front a female and a female and a level two in the back another three in the back another female and another female I'm really bad at telling fur types from this distance. I can usually tell if they're light uh, uh, brown hybrid. Other than that, I am not good at seeing. So, we're going to start by letting these guys get in a little close. And we'll use probably the 12 gauge gamekeeper to start. And then go over to the 10 gauge. Clean up with that, and then clean up the rest with the 22. It actually sounds like there's another flock, and I'm gonna wanna check that first. Yeah, we're seeing about the same scores. No fours, no fives. Yeesh. Birds are noisy today. All right, they're coming in to land. I think this is a three. I did get that one. And get another one in that guy just to finish and see if we can't get him. That one we already shot. We're just gonna see how many we can clean up with the 22. Oh, barely got that guy on the wing. Uh, oh, wow, we got another whole other flock. Bunch of threes. Oh, there's a four. Oh. It's not a max weight estimate for us, so we'll let that one live to see another day. Yeah, we had a lot of birds coming in. A lot of geese coming right off the start. We love to see it, love to see it. Yeah, let's pick these guys up. I can't remember how many we shot, actually. The gray brown, a 6.3 silver for the male. Another gray brown, 5.4 for our male. Let's see here, looks like another gray brown. Yeah, a 4.6 female. This one here is a gray brown as well. A level or scoring five for a female. We got this guy here. Uh, well, this gal, uh, 4.7 female, a gray brown. It looks like we got one more over here we need to go pick up. I hope that's all of them. I need to do a better job when I'm hunting geese like this just to count how many I actually shoot so I know I picked them all up. This is a 4.9 gray brown a female. Got a lot of females off of that one. The thing with the shotguns is if you're you're not real close to them, um, they'll fly off for quite a ways with just one shot in them. 
And because they're not dripping blood that you can track, it's really hard to find them unless you watch to where they drop. You can find them a lot easier. Which is why one of the things I hope that comes out with Reventuli, if not right away, eventually, is a bird dog. I would love to have a bird dog that runs out and grabs them and brings them back to me after I've shot them. I think that would just, with the, having a waterfowl map, it's something we have to have. I don't know if it's been talked about yet. I saw somebody talking about it on YouTube and I didn't get around to watching the video yet to see if it was something that EW's actually talked about or not. But I mean, imagine just sitting here and just shooting geese out of the air and your dog runs out, grabs them and drops them off right at the base of your tripod and you go down and start picking them up. Save so much time and headache of trying to find these birds. Because right now the bloodhound, he'll just track blood, but if there's no blood from them being shot, he ain't gonna track it. Yeah, just some thoughts. Well, all right, we got another flock coming in, looking like two threes up front. And probably females in the back can't, yeah, all females in the back, only five in this flock means we should be able to do 20 gauge into the 12 gauge and take them all out with just shotguns. I don't know though, my shooting's not the best with shotguns, hence why we are here. That is a bigger level 3 and a really small level 3. 4 to 6, Sheesh. Let's turn around and come back to the proper shooting distance. We'll let them get in, get in close because we'll start out with the 20 gauge. Instead of going 12 gauge, we might go 10 gauge because that gives us one extra shot in case we miss. Which will work out in our favor. That's not the shotgun I wanted. Oh well, we got another flock coming in. Let's see what that flock's got. Three three female female oh two oh, oh, oh. Ah. no scoped oh 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 we're taking them out we're taking them all out wow, that one didn't go down all right we're gonna get that one down Oosh. Look at that flock. There's another big flock. Oh, it's a big flock, but they're they're not broken free. Let's see if we can break them free with the call real quick. All right, well, they don't want to break free. So we'll grab these guys since we dropped one where we were sitting with a no scope. 28 shot on a level two female scoring five gray brown looks like a brown hybrid here brown hybrid 6.3 male and that's our biggest so far looks like another gray brown uh, that's the two gauge shot one I uh, 5.9 level three male and the last one and that flock is a gray brown Level two females scoring 4.6. It's not bad, but I'm really hoping we can get something bigger to come in. We're not, we're just not getting the big ones to come. Well, we made a change of placement and we're changing it up by being in a ground blind or a layout blind. Uh, we just weren't seeing anything real big. We saw those couple level fours now we're diamond potential, and it looks like here, we got another level four, but not diamond potential. This is the first flock. They're flying right over my head, so I can't scan them. It doesn't look like anything of extreme note, but I wanted to go into the layout blind because we're gonna have different blind options come into Reventuli Coast. And, okay, I was gonna say, I thought they were just gonna keep on flying by. It looks like a couple brown, or one brown hybrids and a bunch of gray browns. Let's find that four first. There we go. Actually, sounds like almost sounded like we had another flock coming in. We'll start out with the T 
10 gauge on this one. Where's that four? There it is. And boom. Oh. Got up in front of me. If I remember my hotkeys. And I think we'll let them live another Nah. No, we won't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have different... I don't know where I was at. Where? I, what was I talking about? Uh, I think I was talking about layout blinds. Oh, sounds like we got some more coming. Yeah, we do. Actually, I want to lay down. Yeah, we got diamond potential level four. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looks like that's about the only one of note in that flock, so we're probably just going to go straight to the 22. Where'd it go? That one? No. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Am I blind? Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> Boom. Come to Poppy. Boom. Okay, what do we get? Brown hybrid 8.1. <laughs> oh, so close, uh, but so far away. Darn, that guy was really close. Really, really close. And it's all right, though. Uh, let's finish picking up the rest of these. I think I was talking about layout blinds. We have like boat blinds now, so we can be in the water laying down. Uh, which is going to really work. That was a 7.5. Ah, wow, that's a big boy. Uh, and I think that's going to be pretty neat, all the being able to actually hunt on water and stuff like that. That's going to be pretty, pretty stinking cool. I know a lot of people are excited for this new map. I think some people aren't as excited because they're not big into waterfowl, but I think if we give it a chance, it's gonna actually going to turn into a lot of fun. Uh, 4.8 gray-brown female was that last one that we shot. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be pretty neat. Well, we spooked off uh, another level four diamond potential. We're going to see if we can't get it from a distance, though. I don't know about that. That is a heck of a distance to be shooting. I mean, we are 140. 50, I should be able to. Oh, we got it. <laughs> I figured if I just spammed, we might get it. Wow. Okay, that's going to be a heck of a trek. Uh, yeah, wow. That, what the heck was that? Okay, well... That's, that's going to be a bit of a trick. I didn't think I was actually going to get that. Well, all right. Here we are. Grabbing that diamond potential. 8.4.1 off. Shooting it at 283 meters. So unfortunate. To, oh, so close. Man, that one hurts. There we go. Level 5, 8 to 10. Oh my gosh, I knew we were going to do it. Now, I want to try and get this guy with the shotgun. Preferably that 10 gauge, because it is just so powerful. Man, I oof, didn't know if we were going to do it. He's attentive. And now he's alert. I'm laying down, bro. Come on. Let's see if we can do it from this distance, yeah? Oh, uh, that's not the right gun. Oh, I'm empty. Come on. Come on. Oh, we did get him. Oh, we did get him. We got him. We're going to have to watch him for a while. Because I don't think he's going to go down right away. He's not even going down a little. I don't want to track him too long. So let's just try to get him with... Well, well. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um, 
I'm not letting you get away, sir. Excuse me? He's not that far out, is he? Holy cow, he is going down. Did I just screw up? Oh, catch your breath, sir. Oh, crud. Did I just mess up and lose a diamond <laughs> goose? I think I did. Um, well, we'll just start running the way he was going. He was headed straight southwest. I guess we'll go that way and pick him up whenever he decides to fall down. Well, I think we lost it. That's one of my big fears with the new waterfowl update is that we have to use shotguns because they're so quick and you can't use that 22. I really wanted to try using that 10 gauge and since he was off at a distance, I bet we only got a one pellet hit. And while I ran, last spot we saw, saw him was here. We shot him over here. I ran all the way down around and in here. And we just, I just don't see him. There's no telling how far he went. And after he leaves render distance, what happens to him, I don't know. So he could have just straight up disappeared. Because I figured we would have got some hunting pressure out like that. I just don't see any that popped up. So, yeah, we lost a diamond. Uh, that was like guaranteed diamond. By 8 to 11 was a score. He could have been my biggest goose that I've gotten so far. But that's no big deal. We uh, lose some and we win some. It's just the nature of the beast. And it was just a diamond goose. I have multiple diamond geese already. So I think at this point I'm on a fast travel back to the tent. And we'll just go ahead and get another one. I, uh, I don't want to place a waypoint. I want to fast travel. We'll get another one. We'll do it. We'll do it. I promise you. We're going to get one. I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to shoot it with the 22. And that'll, that'll just be that. No more playing around. Wait a minute. What? What was that? What, what, what was that? Not, not a 6.2 gray brown. Huh. I, I don't... I don't even know what that was doing there. What? Okay. Whatever. Well, let's get some more geese in. Move on from that. So sad. So, so sad. Okay. Made up for it. We got another level five. He's already alert. <clears throat> this one's not as big. Checking the rest of this flock real quick. We're going to take this guy down. It's about time. Man, this has been like four hours of goose hunting. And he's alarmed. He's dead. Jeez. I thought there I spent... I feel like I hear another flock. I want to see. I did. There we go. Another flock with nothing big. Okay. Yeah, I spent like probably the last two hours after that one got away trying to get another five or rare. And we got one. 8.6 diamond. Finally. Do you believe? Yeah, he barely hit diamond. 0.1 over diamond. That is good to see. Ooh, almost in taxi. Well, all right, guys, I think with that, we're going to wrap it up. I've spent a lot of time hunting geese. I started out with like 400K and I have 165K now. So <laughs> we've put some time in. I appreciate you guys watching and sticking around. I'm really excited for the new map. So I keep doing things that kind of are going to relate or be uh, applicable to the new map. 
Uh, Red Tule Coast is going to be a blast. The waterfowl hunting looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. Can't wait for it to come out. Can't wait for the new great one and someone to find it or us find it first. And it's just going to be such a good time. As always, guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Really helps me out. Helps the channel grow. We're really close to 50 subs, guys. It'd be awesome to see that 5-0 come up here in the next short while. Appreciate every single one of you that have already subbed. And as always, guys, go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend. I'll catch you in the next one.